hello and welcome to another Overlord Law video and today we are going to take a look at the battle of Einzul going against Klein. A battle that I have, in a joking manner, already predicted. But it was even greater than I assumed it would be. But before we're going to take a closer look at any of this, let me thank my Patreons for supporting this channel, as well as all users of the YouTube Thanks function for making one-time donations. Now with all of that said, the battle was staged and the objective was to convince Klein that Rana was forced to kill her own father, that all of this was really just the plan of the Sorcerer King and that Rana's powerless to resist. But aside from all of this, Eins really wanted to engage Klein, and I'm very glad that this reference why he did want to fight Klein, why he agreed to join Rana's mama's farce is in the anime, because it is that Einzelgon had a soft spot for acting like a villain, for role-playing. Not to the extent that Ulbert Elaine Odell did, but remember even Einzelgon's very character build was due to him wanting to role-play as an evil overlord. And I know what you are going to say. Be careful what you are wishing for. But instead of having to act super serious all of the time, as the evil overlord his NPCs want him to be, just acting on behalf of Rana was way less demanding. So that's why Eins agreed. And also his villainous speech was just peak overlord. Because just as the anime has shown us time and time again that the power of friendship is non-existent, that reality is unfair, and that people are different, some strong, some weak, some blessed or cursed, Einzelgon really hammered that lesson home, that Overlord is not a story where anger awakens some hidden kind of power, where justice will prevail in the end. In spite of Klein's rage, anger, hope and dire need, he did not awaken some hidden power in order to save the princess and the day. He was still a weak nobody, and he would die as one. But nonetheless, the battle Einzelgon had with Klein served two other purposes as well. The first was that Eins wanted to win Razor Edge, and since Gazavstronov has denied this prize to Eins during his own duel with him, Einzelgon now felt that winning it in a duel with the explicit permission of Klein was appropriate. And second of all, Einzelgon trains to be a warrior and in Volume 12 and Volume 13, aka the nearly 700 pages of lore that are now missing within the Overlord anime, it was revealed that Eins also trained with Kokutus in order to fight like a warrior, not by gaining levels, but by gaining experience and knowledge in fighting as a warrior. Hence why Eins, while fighting as a caster, which had only the stats of a level 30-something warrior, he still managed to dodge the attack of an evil Lord of Wrath, which was in its 80s level-wise. And Eins wanted to learn how Klein fights, he wanted to see how strong he is, and what he could do, so that Einzelgon could adapt his techniques, in the same way that he has now gained an understanding of Clementine's fighting style, which he ultimately had adapted during the 10th volume, or during the Colosseum arc of the 4th season. And while the battle was unsurprisingly one-sided, Einzelgon still had to ultimately block Klein's strike with Razor Edge, a sword that Einzelgon confirmed was able to hurt him. And Einz was curious whether or not it could actually destroy world-class items or not. Which again hints that Razor Edge might have been a wild magic sword, or was at least created or blessed with wild magic. So forcing Einzelgon to block this attack with his hands and finish him off with magic meant two things. Number one, that Eins did not want to risk his most important item in a fight any longer, because Klein was still a small but noticeable danger when fighting in a melee duel against the Sorcerer King, especially because he had the wild magic ring still equipped. And secondly, that Klein had the basic sense of aiming at the glowing red presumed weak spot that so many others ignore. And ultimately, Einzelgon gained more from the duel than he had hoped. Not only was Razor Edge finally his, but he also gained the Wild Magic Ring from Klein. And this ring is also quite interesting, because it allows to temporarily raise the level of a warrior, like Cocutus for example, by 5, even when the level of Cocutus is already 100. 
So this ring can breach the level restrictions of Yggdrasil for players and NPCs. And when Ein Solgon used Perfect Warrior, he should also be able to temporarily acquire 105 levels in warrior-related classes, if he uses this ring. And since Eins continuously trains himself to be a warrior, it is quite likely that he will use the ring at one time. Maybe even in his fight against Platinum Dragonlord, or another of the now emerging Draconic Threat. And this ring also should confirm to Eins that there is a force that can actually break the restrictions of Yggdrasil online. So the duel was beyond valuable for Eins. It allowed him to claim Razor Edge, get a shiny new ring of power, and also he witnessed some new movesets from Climb. Moves that Climb had learned from Gaza's throne of himself. And with that said, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to Dash 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 Arda Daddy Arda Bad Guy Ye Bad Burrito 316 Bise Ben C Brandon D Chrissy Crowley 0221 Sia Crystal Prime Dead Slime Death is Mercy Deathless Dragonlord Demon Xenomorph 1987 Devin Downen Ding Dong Duckwagon Dystopia Dystopia the Second Enigmatic Unicorn Feral Shivan Guy with that Head Hector Marino Hoss Huster Jacob G, Jana B, Jason, J. Morris, Chromius, Kyle R, Legendarius, Lelouch with Britannia with a mustache, Lexus Fox, Lord Nishikian Rai, Lord Touch Me, Merovec, Mr. Shoes, Mr. Tweaker, Michael R, Michael Y, Nope, oh hell no. Normal Toad, O'Kill, Overlord General Gasper, Paddy Pantom, Personage, Primus Eleven, Q Nicarikos P, Shergox is Daddy, Shadow Lightning Wolf, Shrine Keeper, Super Tier Magic Batista Bomb, Supreme Cheese, Staris, Ted, Texas Deer, The Orc Warboss, Rock Ed Smasher, T. E. Wang, Vash Hawkeye, Vegito27, Venture Fanatic, Wilhelm, Zinukai, and Zonagon. Thanks, guys. Anyway, have a nice day, and I hope to see you all again soon on my next video.